Welcome everyone to Brian's Action Figure Reviews. I am here with another Marvel Legends review for you. If you would like, hit the subscribe below. That would be awesome. But anyway, on to the review. So, if you've been a follower of the channel, or you know me in general, you'll know that I collect comic figures, mostly. 99% of my collection, uh, well, my Marvel Legends collection anyway, is comic figures. And I've been asked by people before, like even the guys in Big Bang Comics, came to me about a Thor Love and Thunder wave a while ago and I was like nope don't do MCU I'm afraid uh, in Thor Love and Thunder I was correct <laughs> but um, yeah so what I'm going to review today is the Marvel Legends Mr. Knight figure this is technically it is an MCU figure Disney Plus did this whole Moon Knight series which was kind of below par but I still enjoyed it but what I mostly loved about it was that they did Mr. Knight. Now I know the guy Steven in it wasn't the Mr. Knight we know from the comics. Now maybe he'll move on to that because I know they're doing another season. And maybe he'll eventually become the, the Mr. Knight of the series. But the reason I bought this is I don't think they will do a comic, a comic version of Mr. Knight. Now maybe they will. They did two white visions fairly close together. So maybe they will do a version of this from the comics. But until then, this is what I wanted. Um, yeah, and like I know it's they're using the same body as I think that um that MCU J. Jonah Jameson. But either way, I do want this version of the character. So let's check out the box. So here is the box for Mr. Knight. And as you can see, there's a nice like color going all around the box there Moon Knight Disney Plus Mr. Knight it does say and of course uh, the Marvel Studios Moon Knight thing there as you can see you can see all these accessories there and we'll go through those further on on the top there's a really nice Moon Knight logo it does say build a figure Infinity Ultron on the side you've got this awesome picture of Mr. Knight a lot more like the comics version really on the back it does say an expert on ancient Egypt Stephen Grant is thrust into the action as Kunshu's avatar, Mr. Knight, relying on his keen mind to enact his master's will. And I gotta say, I love this picture here of Mr. Knight. Here is, of course, that very impressive Ultron builder figure. Two Ultra or two Moon Knights. You have Miss Marvel, you have She Hulk, you have the Hawkeye characters, and you have Sh Sharon character there. And a lot of legalese down here on the bottom. More on the side here again. And again, the same picture of Mr. Knight. Without further ado, let's get this guy out of the box. So here we have Mr. Knight out of the box. And as you can see, he is really, 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 really white. I definitely think this car, this outfit could have done with a bit of a wash on it. It just looks very, I don't know, very flat. But like the, the outfit is done really well. Of course, this is a reused body. The feet are new as far as I can see, but I think there could have definitely been a bit more effort done paint-wise. It's just very bland looking. But I suppose this um, this character doesn't doesn't give in to much color anyway. So let's check out his accessories. Of course, he does come with a Build-A-Figure piece for that What If Disney Plus Ultron. And it's just his right arm. So I, I don't think I'll be building this myself, so he's probably up for grabs. If anyone wants him, let me know. Um, he does come with two hands as well. Two gripping hands, as you can see there. They are used for grabbing these. So these are like two ceremonial batons. And as you can see, there's all little like, there is actually sculpting of that calligraphy and stuff. The Egyptian writing on it, it's really, really cool. And there is two of these. Now, unfortunately, they don't join together. I thought that would have been pretty cool if they did. But, no, but they do They do look cool. Look better than your standard weapon that you get with Marvel Legends anyway. Something different. And, of course, he does have them in the show. So, yeah. So, not a lot of accessories again. But, uh, yeah, there you have it. So, let's get on to the rest of the review. So, let's get a better look at Mr. Knight. As I said earlier, he looks really, really white. Some, like, black wash somewhere there or thereabout. Would have been really nicely done but as you can see like the, on the 
Jack, as you can see, his cravat here, his waistcoat is cool, the tie is cool. Like, it's accurate, but it just looks very dull, if I'm honest. The eyes, you can barely see, like, there is, there is, like, a hint of the blue in it. Maybe, again, the, yeah, I don't know, I'm not too sure about this. Even, but there is lots of great details in there. Even the, the stitching on the mask is sculpted. This is sculpted here. And this suit body has been seen a few times before on Arcade. Being one, the, the MCU, J. Jonah Jameson, Stan Lee. Is it a Peter Parker body as well, I think? And the uh, comic book, J. Jonah Jameson. But I think it works for this guy. The one thing I will that does annoy me is a fairly iconic, fair, fairly iconic panel of Mr. Knight sitting down with his legs crossed and when you do it with this guy let's just show you because i have a little seat here you do it with this guy his jacket goes up a mile as you can see here this lifts and that's kind of annoying now i'm not getting the exact pose down here but yeah the jacket lifts up i don't know why that's not held down maybe the minute you, you you move the legs here, this lifts up and gives him a really weird looking phenomenon. I'm not, not, not a fan of that. But uh, other than that, he is a really good figure. He definitely passes for a comic empty or a comic version of Mr. Knight. Articulation wise, again, there is there is no butterfly joint. You, do, you lose out on chest or ab articulation because of the jacket. I'm sure it's under there. Yeah, it actually is. You can see. You can see the ab articulation under there. Uh, yeah. He bends down a good bit anyway. I just want to get him like smashing someone on the floor or something. You can get the proper proper poses for that. Uh, but uh, yeah. 